Hey guys, sorry if it's been a while since I've done a vlog, and I know today I was going to talk about my past, and I guess you could say part of my, give you guys a kind of a background check on me, kind of, or, you know, give you guys a great idea of what, has, how my life has been within the last five years, and just help you guys understand where I come from on a lot of things, probably, and why I do some of the things I do, but there's a couple things I've been wanting to talk about. Um, first off, I just got done watching a live stream from that guy that I was talking about that, you know, as far as right now, you know, he's been a great inspiration in general. I mean, just for several reasons, not just a small reason, you know. I mean, I know uh, Chris Perillo of Locker Gnome has been a great inspiration to a lot of people. He still is. But this other guy is just, it's from a different side of things, different perspective and everything. And it's, uh, and for me, I guess you could say in a much more deep way and everything. And, you know, it was before I really got into YouTube. I mean, I had my original intention. started out simple, and then I put it with this... And then I learned a lot, and then it just it just opened. I mean, it was like a, it was almost like you know just a f seed that went into the ground and then turned into a flower. It seemed like, I don't mind just I don't usually talk about that kind of stuff, but, but anyways, I just got done watching his live stream. Played some Battlefield Three with him. It was really cool, and I I was on the enemy team to start off, and I was I accidentally killed one of his friends, and it was funny. But we had a fun time. I switched teams finally once I got the chance to, and it was just. It was really fun and everything, and I guess you could say one of my friends is talking about me, uh, talking to me about something, and it it gets so weird that I feel like I'm one of those people that overly thinks things, but at the same time I do th I think I look at things from an overview, a more realistic perspective, in a way that you know helps things make sense. And I guess you could say I'm one of those people that likes to put several things together into one ultimate plan. You know that's why I, when people you know ask me the simple question of you know what is your dream, and my answer is always going to be. I don't have a dream, I have multiple dreams, and my ultimate dream is to accomplish all of them and use them all together in a unique way where they all benefit each other and help overcome and accomplish several, several goals and other things. So, you know, things just keep on unfolding. I feel like life is just putting out a red carpet in front of me. Not exactly, but, you know, just doors and doors keep on opening, and it's almost as if, you know... Or something. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, you know, multiple things keep on happening within life. And, you know, it just keeps on opening new doors to new things. But I keep on taking them all with me and holding them all close to me. And keeping them all, you know, close in mind. So then, you know, I can, you know, somehow, like, remember this. Like, oh, that was really terrible, you know. If I did this, this would really benefit this. And, you know, just a lot of things. And, you know, it also has to do with the microphone that you're asking me about. <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of things I really want to do. And... You know, I really feel like there's probably too much I want to do, but I feel like it's un it's not unrealistic because everything keeps on going together in such a unique way. And I like the idea of, you know, doing things that will just help everybody. And, you know, there's a lot of things I want to do in the long run. Some things I just want to happen as soon as possible. I feel like, you know, if I don't do things anytime soon or I don't see any, you know, enough progress, let's just say, then I feel like it's just going to disappear. You know, it's just going to go away. And hear that from a lot of older people, you know, your parents probably, you know, being like, oh, we all, you know, said we were going to go back to our high school and visit our, you know, teachers when we were older, you know, and that kind of stuff. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff that just happened and we forget about them over time. And I don't want to be one of those people. I remember every single bit of it and, you know, see everything come through. And it's, you know, and again, you know, these aren't exactly things that are just, you know, like, you know, selfish things, or, oh, I just want to start a business, or do this, you know, anything that's selfishly, you know, I want to, you know, help a lot of people, I want to help make a lot of things happen, and see things come through, and help solve some issues, and, you know, I guess you could say, um, YouTube does have a great part to do with that, it really does, and it doesn't just have to do with the communities, and the people in it, and everything, but also just has to do with, you know, how people, you know, work together and everything and the simple common things that we all see as, you know, just a problem as producers and people that, you know, create entertainment and just videos in general. And, you know, there's a lot of things I want to do that, you know, will help out people and hopefully make a big difference overall. And, you know, again, you know, all of them work together in such unique ways and it's hard sometimes. It gets to the point sometimes that when someone asks me a simple question you know, I won't feel like answering that without giving them, you know, explaining everything because that might have to do with a big plan. And if I tell them one thing and if they ask a certain question like why this or why that or just something, it'll make me feel like I'm going to have to tell them every bit about of it. But I don't want to tell them too soon, you know, not to get their hypes too up, you know, thinking that it's going to happen right away or something like that. <clears throat> or anything like that. Or just for them to expect it very soon. Such as when I told you about the Toonami promos. Mm hmm. That's just a small example, but I'm just kidding. But, 
you know, and plus, you know, I don't want to spoil or anything like that or anybody possibly take things away from me. But I have been lucky that, you know, even though I have some really weird friends in different ways, I know we're all we're all weird in our own ways and we all have friends that are weird because they must be weird to be friends with us, right? <laughs> but, you know, I'm lucky enough to see that, you know, none of my friends have really, you know, taken advantage of me. And I want to make sure that doesn't happen. And that's why I'm a bit careful on, you know, who I'm friends with usually. And... You know, again, there's just a lot of things I want to do, and I just don't want it to be wasted or taken advantage of it and just put into the wrong hands or something like that. And that's why, I guess you could say that creates this sort of antisocial side of me, just a little bit. You know, but I do, I am very open-minded, and I do like to put things out there and everything. And, you know, I have released a lot of information, you know, in just small little big packages every now and then over time without various social sites and other places, personal messages that someone answered their question, all kinds of things, you know, and just, you know, I've released a little, it's a little bit and I think opening up is good and I'm going to have to anyways, you know, to see things through and, you know, um, YouTube has a great part to do with it and everything, you know, my ultimate dream and just every, to see everything happen. And there's just so many things I want to do. I know I say that many times. But there seriously is, you guys have no idea. I feel like I'm freaking Bill Gates or Bill Gates on steroids because it's like in multiple areas or something and it's just all over the place. You know, I don't just think them small, you know, from a small way or just all oh, think about the small main things or the obvious things. I really go deep into it. If I was to start business, I would figure out exactly how things are going to be operated, what kind of prices based upon what percentage or rates and other things and what percentage of the, you know, profits going to go towards this and that and what kind of brands we're going to be getting into the store and how things are going to operate, the hours, the kind of employees that we're going to hire and the kind of things that would run through, you know, like a... I don't know exactly, say test or something like that, you know, and just everything through usually. And, you know, you know, again, YouTube has a big part to do with it in such a way that I think is going to be so unique and so amazing. And, you know, there's just a lot of things I want to do. And one of them has, you know, like I said earlier, there was that question that my friend asked me and you asked me, you know, one of my other friends, the one that you met on uh, Skype or not Skype, but Steam. And you asked me some questions, both having to do something. And, I, and I'm going to open up at least a little bit right now to you guys. And, you know, one of the dreams I want to do has to do with the, you know, you, YouTube in general, but it's going to be outside of YouTube. It's going to be something that's going to be unique and it's going to be something to help anybody that makes YouTube videos. And it's going to be a, a very unique community that's going to have a little bit of everything. People from the anime community, tech news, you know, anything, you know, tech reviews, anything, you know, gaming news as well as other things, you know, and just, you know. I think that's one of the, you know, even though I have multiple hobbies, you know, and everything, that's one of the main reasons I like having multiple channels because I get to express myself in any way possible instead of feeling like, oh, I have to go with this group and only be in this area of the community or something like that, you know. But, you know, one of the reasons is because, you know, I feel like, you know, as I learn so much, you know, about the communities in general in various areas, I feel like that's going to, you know, be very useful because it's going to give me, you know, a more realistic you know, perspective that's not going to be biased anyway. So let's just say if I, you know, had a website and it was to help YouTubers and things, you know, all over the community in multiple, you know, areas, whether it's anime, gaming, tech, anything, you know, or at least a lot of things. And, you know, it would give me a way, like, let's just say people from this community came over to this channel or over to this page or this area of the community and start bashing and starting cr uh, trash. But then they say this and, you know, it just goes back and forth, you know, because I can look at things and understand things a bit from both sides, you know, it'll help me much more in far, as far as, you know, making, you know, the best choices instead of it just being like, well, you know, as a gamer, I wouldn't want these assholes to do this. Sorry for my language, you know, but, you know, just, you know, I think that'll really help in the long run and also understand things that, you know, are, you know, the very small, minor, different things you know, that are in different areas that, you know, they might need more or they get more traffic in this way because of this or, you know, they need to spend more money on this kind of stuff and these people need these kind of sponsors and just, you know, many things, you know, and I feel like in a way, you know, it'll at least, you know, <clears throat> help me make sense of everything instead of just saying things based upon what the mass majority of people say or what you see on the news and TV and that kind of stuff or what you just pay some guy to investigate and find out or something like that, you know. And that'll help, help me come up with better things that'll help benefit people the most. And, you know, just make things better overall. And, you know, there's just... Uh, just think about it. Yeah, there's just a lot of things I want to do. And, you know, I want to help so many people and do so much. 
but you know as time goes on you know time seems like it's going a lot faster because I'm getting older and everything but you know I do see progress and I and I definitely do th think everything's gonna pull through I really do and you know I just want to make sure everything happens you know as the way I want to see them through and everything and I'm gonna be one of those people that's almost like OCD like oh it must happen this way and if it doesn't happen this way then we must change it in a way that will at least be beneficial in a lot of ways instead of it just being beneficial in one way but a total like negative effect in all these other areas it's like well we'll just raise your paycheck by you know this much money or how much you get paid each month your salary you know by this much but in return we're gonna you know cut out all of this you know none of that stuff I'm not that kind of person I really am not and you know I like the idea of you know just and, and one of the unique things I think is that you know if I see all these come through you know um, you know there's gonna be businesses that I'm gonna want to start and get running and everything and there's going to be, you know, areas in the communities that I'm wanting to see grow and help out in so many ways, you know. And there's a lot of unique, like, chances and possibilities I want to create for people. Like, this is kind of a small spoiler, but, or a pretty big one for me. But imagine if, you know, let's just say if you're like Linus Tech Tips, you know, you owned a store and it's like really, you know, you do product unboxings and reviews all the time, and because of that, you gain so much experience throughout various products and everything, so you have a much better overview of things. What if you were nice enough to, like, let's just say, you know, not just use that as a possibility to create content and everything, but also as a way to be like, hey guys, if you were, you know, at a store like this, what would you want? You know, what brand would you choose for a gaming headset, or which, you know, headsets in this price range would you choose? And just give them that kind of power or give them some way to, you know, be able to do more than they possibly think they could. And, you know, make things that are, you know, I guess you could say, better for the community in general. And just being like, well, this is, you know, only this much money, so it'll be a better investment. You know, be more like, you know, at least look things from business perspective, also considering theirs. Be like, okay, this one is not quite as expensive as these, but it seems like everyone really likes it, so I'm going to go with that. Or if it's like, oh, this is way too expensive, even from an investor standpoint, you know actually paying for it and everything even if I resold I wouldn't make very much profit at all you know or something like that you know and just ask them to vote again you know but not be like too greedy being like oh we have to make 20 times profit off of everything or something ridiculous like that and again you know there's just a lot of things I want to do you know there's just various other areas I haven't even talked about but you know I just had one of those days you know I just you know I got reminded of a lot of things and just you know there's a lot of things I seriously want to talk about and I will definitely want to talk to you guys about it over time but, you know, I just want to see things through, and that's another reason I feel like YouTube's a big part of it. Not just because I've learned so much, I've gained so much friends, and, you know, just growing to be a part of the community, and just meeting so many awesome people in the community, you know, and just being on live streams, and playing video games with, you know, some of my, you know, favorite uh, producers on YouTube, or just YouTubers is the right word. And just, you know, it's, it's really awesome. And, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I'm trying my best to at least do things at a rate in a way where I don't go too much in one direction, care too much about money or anything like that, you know, or anything like that. And, you know, I'll at least go on a rate that makes sense, you know, and just, you know, have a good level of progress that's good enough. And one thing I was going to say is, you know, I also like the idea of, you know, if I own multiple companies and all these websites and communities and everything like that, even if one area is doing terrible you know, it's like TV channels when the ratings go down and they're doing terrible, or this company's doing terrible and their sales are bad, you know, because, you know, I have a realistic perspective, I will know what's necessary for what area or something like that, or I could be like, okay, you know, I'll take some of this money and put over here just because their growth has grown by this much, so they only need this much, you know, and just do things in a way where, you know, it could just help balance things out. So then, you know, everything could happen the way it needs to instead of just, you know, each, you know, area having their own issues because there's a lot of things, you know, that different areas of the community have problems with, you know, fanboys, copyright issues, or, you know, um, people bashing them, calling them gay, or attacking them for being like that, you know, if they're into pop culture and that kind of stuff, and just so many things. And, yeah, there's just, there's a lot of things, just information going throughout my head all the time, and... I'm going to try this video right here because it's been a little bit, a really long one, but I'll try to answer you guys very soon, give you guys an idea, you know, what's happened, you know, with my life within the last five years, and talk to you guys about the products and how it has to do that with what were my plans. So thanks again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.